All right, so as I was doing that, I anticipate that you were asking your questions. I do want to say, though, that as I was doing that, um, I do feel that we have people who are struggling with depression here, and we have so many people of an empathic nature, meaning they are empaths, who are being shorted and overwhelmed, and it's actually showing up in the physical body in the form of fatigue, blowout, adrenals, thyroid, glandular system, the whole thing is just kind of blown out. It's like when you go to Europe, I'm in the States, you go to Europe and you plug in to the wrong, I'm so, I'm such, I don't understand, voltage, is that what it is? You plug in and boom, your, whole, your entire computer or your hair dryer just shorts because it's wrong, it's all wrong, it's too much. So we have people here who are experiencing this sort of dome, it feels like a dome, like I'm existing in a dome, a bubble of woe, W-O-E, I'm existing in this smoky bubble of woe where I don't feel connected to the outside world. Everything seems to be super crazy. Everybody seems to be very mad and angry. Everybody seems to be so low vibration. Did the shift happen, you may ask yourself? Did the shift happen and I just wasn't chosen? <laughs> Did you all go to the new heaven and the new earth but I got left on this prison planet? Like weird, confusing, why am I, why? Am I here? What's going on? You have a compass within you, of course, that's always pointed home. So you have the sensibility existing of that which is higher than I, right? The rock that is higher than I, this, this knowing that happens that there is something beyond this life and beyond who it is that you are. You know there's something beyond the dome of this space that you're living in, but it's getting to the point where you're not, it doesn't matter so much for you because it's per perpetual, in perpetuity, they would say, in perpetuity, always happening, waiting for the other foot, the, waiting for the other shoe to drop, oh, awesome, this was a great day, this tomorrow's going to suck then, because that's the way life works, like in a pattern like that, and you're also smart enough, seasoned enough to know that this doesn't work, and it's not ideal, isn't it funny, because I need to hear that as well. <laughs> I need to hear that as well. Thank you, God. I need to hear that as well. Is this, <laughs> wow, I need to hear that as well. That's me too. Whoa, arrow to the heart right there. I was talking to Sorry, guys, this is just what's coming up. I was talking to Lauren this week, Antwa Fermo, she's the manager of the lab, and I was telling her, Lauren, it's been really hard. And since November, I've been struggling. And because I don't, because I don't, because I'm so alone a lot, and I am, it's a long story, because I don't, I have friends in, in person, and because I have a community of people that I care about, I don't say it. I live on this beautiful property that's magical, and I've become so isolated in my life. It, it's not about <laughs> circumstances. This is what Spirit's showing me is happening with some of you too but I become so isolated it is like a dome I do stop seeing all of sometimes I stop feeling all of that which is higher than I and I get into this space and it's reflected in my thoughts and of course I teach on this I'm hyper aware of this and I'm, I'm very vigilant about how I think but the more isolated I am the harder it is to get that in check. The more time I spend correcting that, then living. <laughs> I've been having a hard time, guys. And um, these times when I get to drive into the city, I mean, we're, we're moving and we're moving because this has been such a thing for me. 
these times when I get to actually be with you guys or, or be in, in my class or, or do the things that I love to do or just like go to the store <laughs> and see people are incredibly, incredibly valuable and important to me. How does somebody who teaches about never being alone feel so alone sometime? It's a testimony to the reality that there are, there's nobody, there's nobody perfect. Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane, he wept. He said, Father, this is too hard, man, and I don't want to do it anymore. Like, take this cup from me. I, I do, this is not what I want. So I talked to Lauren, and it was like one of, I don't like to talk to my husband about it because I don't want to make it harder for him, and I don't want to talk to other people because I don't want to make it harder for them. But Lauren said, you know, by, it's okay it's okay to say it. By saying it doesn't seal the fate of it. If you say, if you speak out and say, this is my worry, this is my anxiety, this is my fear, this is my pain, this is my problem, it doesn't cement it and make it so. In fact, it gives space for it to go and for it to be released. And she said that to me, and of course, I know that. But we slip in and out of states of knowing our whole life. I've known a lot of things throughout my life, forgot them too. Encountered seasons which were so hard that I forgot those things. And so she said, you need to be able to talk about that. You need to have somebody to, to talk to and share with. And so I shared with her and she was there for me and I'm so thankful for that. And I'm in the process of fixing the situation which my point is <laughs> that anybody out there who might feel like they live so isolated, and you can be around a lot of people and feel that way, can't you? You can be in a house full of kids and a husband, and you might even have a job and a lot going on, but in the silence of your life, in the moments where it counts, you might feel completely disconnected and cut off from that river of life, from that light. And for you, Spirit would say, that just, well, it wasn't easy, was it? For you, Spirit would say that that dome is an artificial construct. It's not real. It's not real. It's a byproduct of this dimension. It's, it's artifice. It's architecture of this dimension. It's the traps that we find ourselves in as a result of conditions and circumstances. And if we don't correct soon enough, right? If we don't course correct soon enough, pretty soon we find ourselves looping and looping in these areas and we feel like this is all there is. Well, it's not. There's more. Of course, you have access to infinite resources. Elijah, stop. Turn around. Look at the mountaintop. Don't you see who stands there with you? And so I would give you a message of, of love and support and say, I understand that. As empaths, it's easy to get shorted out and be filled with woe at the condition of this world. But I believe we are shifting. I know we are. I know we are. The reason we're burning out, the reason we're seeing more things in the end days, young men will dream and have visions, right? These are the days. We're shifting. It's happening right now. There's a reason that we feel on this level because we are, we are being given the feelers required so that we can exist at a higher frequency. We can exist, if you will, in a new dimension, in a new heaven, in a new earth. I believe this is where we are going. I know that I feel it. I know that and I feel it. That's why this community is so very important to each and every one of us, so that we have friends. We have Lauren Antofermos that we can say, you know what, I'm struggling right now, man. I'm struggling. Everybody needs that from time to time, right? So I love you and I get it.